basically have 90 blocks and we're trying to build some staircases out of these, they've got to have the same step here, except the very top one. We're asked to show that there are two ways to build a six step staircase. So I'm going to draw a sketch of this. And let's say there are y blocks in the bottom step, and the constant steps I'm going to call x. Then the one above the bottom is going to become y minus x because I'm taking x away, and then y minus 2x, y minus 3x, 4x. And finally, y minus 5x. So if I, if I add all of these up, which will give 6y minus 15x, this must equal 90. And I've actually created what we call a Diophantine equation. It's an equation with more than one unknown, but they, are in, they give integer solutions. Although in this case, I need x and y to be greater than 0. And there is a subtle other restriction, I'm going to need that y minus 4x is greater than x, because otherwise when I take that away I'm going to get a negative answer for this. So I suppose I could also say that y minus 5x has to be uh, greater than 0, which yeah is, this, is the same thing, but I'm, I'm going to focus on this. All right, I'm going to divide through by a common factor of 3 to give 2y minus 5x equals 30. And now there's two ways to deal with this. We can either, because because there's a common factor between 2 and 30, and there's a common factor between 5 and 30. Now I decided to go with the 5. I divided through by 5. It's quite often useful to divide through by the larger thing, because 5 is a bit more awkward. But I will talk about an alternative. So when I divide through by 5, what I see is that y is going to have to be a multiple of 5 to get any solutions, because x is a whole number, 6 is a whole number, so for this to be a whole number, y must be 5 or 10 or 15 and so on. Remember, it has to be greater than 0. So then I systematically work through these. So the lowest it could be would be 5, but then I'm going to get 2 minus x is 6. x is going to be minus 4. So I can obviously reject that one because we've said that x has to be positive. It's a for you know it's a length of a step. For 10 we get minus 2. For 15 we get 0. So none of these are any good. But when I get to 20, I'm going to get 8 here. It's going to become 2. And this is okay. 25 gives 4, which is okay. 30 gives sorry. I just wrote 36, I meant 30. 30 gives 6. Now let's just check out this one. So I said that y minus 4x is greater than x, which was equivalent to y minus 5x being greater than 0. Now that is not the case here. It's actually going to equal 0. So the very top step would in fact be 0, and it would be a 5-step staircase. And then anything from then on, I'm going to get... Um, it being too big as well. So as long as I sort of explain that, then I can see that there's just these two different solutions. So um, I'll just highlight that, I suppose, two solutions. I think it's clear enough from the diagram what these solutions refer to. I could if I wanted to you know, draw the staircases out. Let me just talk about the alternative method. Instead of dividing by 5, we could have divided by 2. y minus 5 over 2x is equal to 15. So now we see that x has to be even, and we could instead start with values of that, which in this case would have worked out better, but I didn't really think about it. I didn't, hmm, you know, with benefit of hindsight, it was the best way to go. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. I still got there after... Uh, after three incorrect solutions. So x equals 2 would then give y equals 20. So we get 5 here. Of course, x can't be 0 or, or negative. Uh, x equals 4 would then give 25, because here I'd get 10. 
and then x equals 6 would give 30, which we then reject. We'd reject all the ones from then on. So yeah, that's just an alternative way to get these two solutions. We're then asked to explain why it's impossible to use all 90 blocks to make a seven step staircase. So in the same kind of way, I'm going to start with y, and then each one of these is going to be x. This works out in the same kind of way. But now I've got this extra y minus 6x. When I add them all together, I'm going to get 7y minus 21x equals 90. And what I can see is that the left hand side now is divisible by 7, but the right hand side is not. So I would get y minus 3x equals 90 over 7, um, which is 7 into 90, go 1, 2, remainder 6. So I'm going to get 12 and 6 over 7. So left hand side is an integer, right hand side is not. Therefore, we can't possibly ever get any solutions. That's it, we just have to show that it's not possible. Um, yeah, brilliant.